Hello, acid folk lovers. Socks, sandals, acoustic guitar, Christian music, 1970s, ring a bell? A proper grail. Uh, it was high fiddly guitar parts and I thought, that's impressive. <laughs> then came Kaidman, and all things changed, for the better. 40p. Fairport, but uh, wouldn't hesitate to say this is, this is probably better. Better than anything Fairport can venture to. Hi. Sorry, we're, we're trying to track down a recording studio that used to be in this uh, yeah, top floor. Oh, right. Called Marty Tower's studio. Right, never heard of it. No, no, no. The window was where we were recording, so that's where the cooker was and where we were set up. And we played in there, and all the mics and wires went into that tiny little turret. One of the rarest psychedelic acid progressive folk albums. 1997, Seoul, South Korea, Fine Tower Records, and there, browsing aimlessly, is this. Okay, confession time, I, I don't still have the uh, vinyl album. I, I cashed in, I got a couple of hundred quid or more for it uh, a number of years ago. 1,500 pounds, <laughs> no idea why. I still occasionally listen to the music, enjoy it. Uh, wish I hadn't sold my copy for £400 when uh, the market was at that point. I'd say each one was worth £1,000, and that's half a million pounds worth of assets. The fact that it was privately pressed and sold at their farewell gig. Their farewell concert at George Square being a complete sellout, 500 people performing there, so that was, that was quite an occasion. Commas or Comus, <laughs> as they more rightly called, they, they played at our school. And... Mandolin, psych fuzz guitar and songs inspired by C.S. Lewis, the genuine maverick creativity. Kate Mon is a musical treasure chest. Five, four, six, eight. Right. At ridiculous speeds. At ridiculous speeds. And my mind was blown. This music really stand that's very unique to this day in my opinion I really love it. Beyond the second mile became part of the soundtrack of my life. Mm -hmm.